In this video, we're gonna look at why this Karsha K2 jet washer is leaking oil and whether there's anything I can do to get it fixed. Let's have a look. Hi there, I'm James and welcome to Mostly Helpful. This is my Karsha K2 jet washer and I've had it for 10 years and it's always worked reliably. But recently it started leaking oil. I didn't know there was oil in a jet wash. So I want to have a quick look and better understand where it's coming from. It's leaking out of the bottom here Hence why it's on a towel, I'm protecting my work surface. So I'm gonna take it apart, have a look where that oil's coming from and see if there's anything I can do to get it fixed. Tools required for this job are a T15 screwdriver, or in my case, I'm using some of these impact bits and an impact wrench. Some of those T15 screws are in very deep holes though. So if you're going that route, you will need a very long T15 bit like this. And with those screws removed, this should now lift off. There we go. And then that leaves us with more Torx T15 screws down again in some more deep holes. So that's the handle removed and the soap dispensing bottle. We've got Ah. That it's a case removed it's now really simple to see that we are it's all very oily here at this lower end but actually from this point back it's all completely dry so we've clearly got a problem down here now I think I should be able to just lift this out oh there we go gosh that really is simple isn't it it's leaking quite badly from here so lots of oil it's obviously where it's coming from so it looks like there's a seal here Maybe that just needs replacing, or maybe it's not available and it's new jet washer time. Now that video was filmed back in December of 2021 and it's now May 2023. And in the end, I decided not to fix this Karsha jet washer for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I downloaded an exploded diagram. There's a number of businesses out there selling parts for this. I used ransom spares and I looked up what would be required to fix that leak and it was about £25 worth of spares, including delivery. But I'm slightly constrained in that I can work in a garage on cars and I can work in here on tables, but I don't really have a workbench to do a really mucky job involving oil that isn't car related. But also because I went and had a look at what the current products in the market are, in this case, a Karsha K2, and compared some of the features and benefits with a 10 year old one, and a lot has changed. So the first thing to note is the difference in weight. So if I take my trusty luggage scales here, and I just pick this, these up and do a weight comparison, this original jet wash clocks in at 8.8 kilos and it is fairly substantial and as you can see it's also quite a bit taller than the other one if I just reset if I do this one this comes in at 4.2 kilos so it's half the weight of this one which makes a significant difference when you're whizzing it around the driveway now I only use my jet washer for cleaning the car and doing the patio so there I don't use it, it a great deal once a month maybe but it does make a difference when it's half the weight the other thing to note is that whereas this old uh, jet wash has a, a the standard lance it's got a screw fitting on the end so you spend your time screwing in here and again it only takes a couple of seconds but you've got to get it lined up right this new one has the quick release system so you have a different fitting on this end and it just pops into this hole here like that you push down and there you go it's sealed and when you want to remove it you just pull that and undo it there's no tightening or anything to do there there's not a great deal more features on this they've both got a standard spray lance um, in fact they're pretty much identical um, this old one has got a detergent bottle that is here this one just has a detergent lead but I've never used the detergent bottle on this um, I use a foam cannon for doing my cars and I don't need a detergent bottle 
One benefit of this old one, though, is that it's got sort of integrated cable storage here um, to keep your cable nice and tidy. And when I hit this one, it's just uh, wrapped around the side like that. But in all other respects, I think this is just as capable in terms of performance. It appears to have as much pressure and power, but the additional benefit of the weight, the additional benefit of the quick release on the hose, and the fact that this is the home control home model. So this came with a patio cleaner, a bottle of detergent, and one of those dirt blaster lances as well. So it was a complete package. I believe at the time I paid just a hundred pounds and with a 25 pound cost for repairing this, plus the time, plus the effort, plus the fact it was 10 years old and something else may have gone wrong. It made sense to me to buy a new jet washer. So what will happen with this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it for parts and sell those off individually. So if somebody wants the, the, this pressure lance here, then that will sell. If somebody wants the hose, then that will sell. And that will recoup some of the costs that I've put into this new machine and should see me making back about £50. So in actual fact, this new machine has cost me, man mass coming up, has cost me £25. And that's a great result. And I've saved myself the hassle of fixing it. Now, as I've said on my channel before and some of my other videos, wherever possible, I like to make things better. But every now and then something comes along and it just makes more sense to do this and just buy into something new. And then you get your warranty and you get your additional benefits. So guys, I hope that's useful. My advice always is to try and fix things where it makes sense. But if it doesn't make sense, then do, do the buy the new item and don't worry about it. Life goes on. And if you've liked this video, do let me know, do send me a comment, do hit that like, and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.